What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. Welcome to Mode My Eye. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Touch Bar, a tweak created by Laughing Quoll. As you can see, I have it already installed on my device and it brings these buttons in here that are uh, simulating perfectly the Touch Bar introduced on the newer MacBooks by Apple. Now, a lot of people have uh, mixed feelings about Touch Bar on the new MacBooks and some people like it, some people don't, but for those of you who find it useful on the MacBooks, probably is going to look better on your iOS device. So props for la laughing call for creating it. You can see I have a couple of uh, switches in here, a couple of buttons. The, uh, the first one in here on the right brings the application switcher on. And also we have a home button, a uh, simulator for the home button. And then this arrow in here, which is uh, presumably a back button. Now, if you swipe to the right, you're going to have the uh, music controls. P uh, pressing the play is going to play, of course, uh, a song. And you have all the other toggles in here. We're going to get into that later. Now, uh, if you switch again, but to the uh, to the left, you're going to see this, which, uh, which brings you a control for the brightness, which is pretty useful in my opinion. Then you have a uh, control for the uh, for the sound, and the reason it's not showing up is due to the fact that I'm recording with QuickTime, which um, changes the uh, the audio levels. Then you have a toggle in here for the uh, silent mode, on or off, and a toggle that activates Siri with a very interesting icon. It's exactly the icon used in uh, in macOS Sierra as well as on the original Touch Bar from Apple. So if you press it, hello Siri. As you can see, now uh, this is pretty much what it has, uh, what it has to show. But it does have a couple configurations, and it's of course very customizable. So uh, let's get straight into that. I'm going to go ahead here on the settings. It has its own preference bundle, which is called Touch Bar. Going ahead in here, you can see it was created by Laughing Call. It says so. Touch Bar for iOS. Hooray! Application Bar, and you have a couple options in here to disable um, for disabled applications. Now, in some of the applications, you can choose not to have. The this touch bar. For example, I do not want it to, to, to pop up in Cydia. So I'm going to mark Cydia in here, go back to touch bar, exit, uh, exit back to the uh, home screen, search for, uh, for the so-called Cydia, open it, and as you can see, it no longer shows up. Cydia loads perfectly, but the touch bar has disappeared. And you can do that with any application you don't want the touch bar to be present in. Now, going back to the settings in here, uh, keep in mind that, uh, speaking about Touch Bar, you can also read our article in here on modemyeye.com where if you want to, to get more info about this, um, this tweak, as well as the incompatible uh, tweaks that will create somehow issues with it. That is Harbor and Circube. Both of them will cause a respring loop. To fix that, you need to enter in, uh, in the uh, not substrate mode. And there are the instructions in here. So make sure you check your uh, device before you install the tweak to make sure you do not have Harbor or Circub. Now, uh, Touch Bar is also available on Big Boss repo and is $2. Going back to its, um, to its settings, let's go ahead. On. We have it in here. You have the uh, default section. You can change actually the default section from home to control or music. So if you want the music to be uh, to be the main screen here, the main uh, page, you can do that. I'm going to leave home for the moment. And then you have revert to default, enable transparency and enable button transparency, which are self-explanatory. Then you have force music section if music is playing. So it's going to switch automatically to the music page in here if the music is playing in the background. Then you have the home screen settings, which are of course um, the enable toggle. If you want, you can disable it and it's not going to show up on the home screen. It's going to all only show up in the applications and on the lock screen if it's enabled. The default section on the home screen and the revert to default, then all the uh, transparency and force music things. Then you move on to lock screen because yes, you do have it in the lock screen if you want. So if you don't, you can simply uh, toggle this off and you no longer have it on the screen when you're on the lock screen. But if you want it enabled, you can do so. Again, it has a default section, a revert to default and the transparency in music settings. Then you have this um, touch bar size. Now you, you can play with this in here and after you respring, it's going to make these buttons bigger or smaller. Now, if you want them smaller, it's probably okay. If you make them too big, it's probably going to crop a little bit too much from the uh, from the screen size. So you're probably not going to like it. I found out that the uh, default setting is pretty much what works the best. Then you have the circle thumb image for sliders and you have the music section button background and home section button background. 
And of course you have a respring button in here because you need to respring when you make changes inside the um, this thing in here. Some of the things do not require you to respring, but some of uh, some of them, for example, the, to the touch bar size does require you to respring. I'm not going to do so because it's going to cut off the uh, recording. And here you have the uh, the credits and special thanks. Again, laughing call available on Twitter if you wanna if you want to thank him for the tweak and also Andrew Wick and Apple Eye Designer. So this is pretty much the uh, the tweak, as I said, available on Big Boss for two bucks. It's pretty much useful if you if you really want the uh, the touch bar from the Mac OS and of course from the newer uh, MacBooks, then it's definitely something useful. You have a couple controls in here. It does look good. It does provide a couple of um, interesting toggles in here. And yeah, you can definitely check it out. I see myself using this tweak in the future, so definitely recommend it. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.